Hello guys, how are you doing today? Alright, question. Are there really infinite realities that exist? Am I really there? Subconscious mind, taking action, all, all these things I am uh, getting here. Alright, so first question. There are indeed infinite realities that exist right now. And this reality exists within this present moment. Your present moment is your future. There is no future, there is no past. If you don't have what you want, it's because your subconscious holds counter intentions. You don't, it's not action. These are just questions I'm getting, so I'm just going through them to answer you. It's not the action you take that gets you the results in your life. It's the intention behind the actions you take. You have to expect good things to always happen for you or happening to you or for you. Once you start to do this, you align yourself up with a frequency that exists to attract what it is that you want. Going down the list, when I visualize, will I really get what I visualize? Yes. If you see something in your mind, it will create a reality. There is no reality, there is only the mental. The mental creates the physical reality or the physical structure that we inhabit. The, the parallel realities or the infinite realities that exist have all different outcomes that you can partake of. The outcome you get to partake of depends on what you're thinking and what your thoughts are. When it comes to the higher self and taking action and knowing what's right, you take the action when your thoughts and emotions line up that feels good. When something feels good or positive, it's time to take action. If it doesn't feel good or positive, it's not time to take action. How do you create the inspired action? When you focus on what you want, the desires you want, keep them without getting attached to them, then when the logical step comes, which will feel like a something good you take action if you feel anxious and nervous you don't take action that's the formula your conscious mind is always looking to solve problems your subconscious mind is always looking to create stuff one solve one create the problem the conscious mind can't do it the subconscious can if you don't have what you want it means your subconscious have a different map of reality. Map of reality is the way your subconscious sees your world and yourself. If you procrastinate, if you feel lazy, that is a subconscious block. If you feel inspired, if you feel motivated, you're on the way to get what you want. You don't have to try to work and fix your life you just have to allow your life to come in to the field that you already exist in when you look out into the night sky and you look out into the galaxies and the stars and the planets and you see all these different galaxies and you see space and you see how big the space is and you say to yourself oh my goodness I'm just a tiny part of this big grand scheme of uh, space and time well actually space and time are just a small scheme to you because the space and the time that you're seeing out there is something that you're rendering in your head in your mind All right the subconscious blocks hold on because they're used to normality if you want to tap into and change your subconscious blocks the only effective way to do that is with subliminal program or subliminal messages. Your brain operates in different levels of awareness and different frequencies. You are never in the same frequency all the time. Your brain is constantly shifting up and down. They have names for these frequencies. They're the alpha, the theta, the beta, the delta, and the gamma state. A frequency means a dimension or a point or a space or a time or somewhere where the brain is picking up information and that information it's using to render your world. Whenever you're in a theta state, that's the best time your brain is open for new instructions. When you're in a beta state, 
that's the time when you're in more more dominantly you're in your conscious mind you're navigating your world you're problem solving you're figuring out stuff you're trying to do stuff that's your conscious mind uh, you want to really understand these different frequencies so that you can take the action to fix them to know where you're vibrating to know where you're when you're creating stuff or manifesting things in your world you have to do energy checks energy checks are always stop listen feel sense your body sense your emotion sense the environment then move on you can calibrate and you can shift most people are on autopilot frequency they are just being tuned by the world the matrix and their subconscious that is that's usually in a negative program state okay whenever you start to check your energy level then you can adjust it how do you adjust your energy level to what you want what are the things that makes you feel good what are the things that inspire you what are the things that motivate you anytime you get into that state of your wish fulfilled or your dream or you see your desires you will shift your energy into a state where it is calibrated for your success see how that works what does it mean when you have an ongoing feeling that you're going to win the lottery you're going to win the lottery anything you have a feeling and you're taking these steps towards doing it it will manifest for you 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 have to separate physical reality from mental reality and what I mean by separate physical from mental it means that you cannot take the physical as the substance of the truth it's not it's incorrect the substance of the truth is the mental in the mental world in the mental reality that's where the truth exists it's in your consciousness it's in your brain it's in your mind it's in your thoughts that creates the physical world so a lot of people think that the physical world is the end and one all stuff it doesn't work like that the physical world is a residue from the mental world you understand that so more people should live in their minds what I mean live in their minds they have they must be more cautious they must be more thoughtful they must be more deliberate in what they are thinking they have to start to take action in their head and choose thoughts or choose thinking that will make them feel good that will make the universe give them what they want the universe will give you what you want based on your thoughts and your emotions the universe doesn't give you what you want primarily on just your language or talking it's a frequency world language coupled with the emotions and the thoughts can influence the universe your language influence more of your subconscious mind your emotions and your thoughts influence the bigger picture which is the field where all the information comes and transmits translates to the subconscious mind right body parts cellular level if you change your eye color change your growth any of those things can be manifested based on a belief if you believe it without any doubt you create the placebo effect and the cells in your body will change and adjust so yes you can change your eye color your bone structure anything because those are all made from a cellular level anything that has DNA in it you can change it DNA changes every time it's called mutation your environment can affect your DNA anything can affect your DNA mutation cell gene mutation so if anyone wants to change any part of their body you can do it the only but is how strong is your belief and listen let me tell you something about this it means it's a for you to do this you have to believe without any doubt one ounce of doubt ain't gonna work okay everything has an instruction and a code in it your DNA from the consciousness already pre-programmed by you for you from your authentic self do 
but by visualizing. Everything comes into the world through visualization, through an imagery, through a set of ideas, thoughts. How can you believe without doubt? That's a great question. The answer is, you just got to do it. You uh, Think about it. How do you believe without doubt? I'll give you a clue. Visualize. The more image, the more you can see it in your head, the more you can convince your subconscious that it's true. Or just go right to the right to the deal and just say, hey, I'm going to believe this and I'm not going to have any doubt. And then convince yourself. That's how you believe something without a doubt. It takes practice. It takes repetition. If you have any doubt about what you can do, it is going to affect your manifestation. Doubt hinders and slows down the progress to create what you want. The best way to overcome doubt is with images. Images in the mind. If you can see images in the mind more times, all the time, over and over, it will eradicate your doubt. If you can see yourself in your own head, having and doing what you want, it will eradicate your doubt. And the reason it will eradicate your doubt, because all the doubt, all the disbelief, all the belief, all the faith, all the abundance, all of that is stored in the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind, primary language, just like we have language, we have English, Spanish, whatever, your subconscious primary language is images. If you can force an image all the time, as much as you can, your subconscious will accept that image as a map of reality. So that means if you have doubt about not being successful, if you can see in your head of being successful more often, it will eradicate the doubt of not being successful and replace it with being successful. Then it will go to your conscious mind, give your conscious mind some solutions, 10% solutions. Your conscious will work with your subconscious. That is called alignment. When you're in alignment, you manifest desires. That's how it works. Are you getting this? There is no such thing as karma outside of this dimension. Karma cannot carry over. Karma only works in the dimension you're experiencing. Cause and effect, what you put out, you get in. Okay? Those are the gems that I will leave for you today to manifest and take your life to a new level. See you next time.